I seem to be this day, and I say, when I don't obey God to give the command, and my own people obey, then do they see what it is that I intend. But I say, if my people refuse to obey me, they never are able to behold what it is that I do. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, do give the call, the command for men to obey, that is what they are meant to do. But I say, if men refuse obedience, then I say, they are refusing my life. Now I say, when I, the living God, did join those who were fishing and had been doing so all night, what was it that I told them to do? The very thing that they were too tired, exhausted to even consider. And yet I say, when I gave command, they obeyed. And I say out of the obedience, they saw what it is that I'm able to do. They saw the miracle. They saw the provision that far exceeded anything that they themselves could have done. And I say it was the move of my power revealed. And I say they were thankful to behold the same. I say so it is even now if you have grown weary. I say do not give up but obey my command. For I say when I the living God do command thee, it is that you could see my power, my glory, my strength revealed in the midst of it all. That it is that you could see that I am the almighty God and that my strength far supersedes what it is you are able to do. And I say that you could indeed reverence me as I make her thy God. I say this day be thankful that I the living God do direct thee, correct thee, and desire for thee to be brought forth. And I say be thankful that I will give unto thee the truth, the light, the strength, and the blessedness that I provide. And I say, be thankful that I will direct and instruct thee in that which I intend, which is the newness of life provided. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of victory, the way of truth, and the way of light provided. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that you can indeed keep looking unto me, walking in obedience to what it is that I desire of thee. And I say, if my desire is that you would continue in the call to repentance, then I say, obey. For I say, you are not meant to be considering my commands as though you had a right to disobey, but I say, you are meant to be thankful to be serving me. That is, that you can indeed see that it is me, the living God, who reigns supreme, that it is me who is triumphant. Now I say, this day, that I, the living God, do not call my people, to grow dull and dumb and stagnated, but I say that I call my people to move with me. That is, I call my people to stay alive and alert in the spirit, that they can obey my commands and come forth in the same. For I say, when it is me that you will be looking unto in faith and trust and confidence, I say that you will be brought forth. That is, able to rejoice always that it is me, the living God, you are privileged to serve. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do call thee to walk uprightly. I say that I call thee to be ever thankful, to be brought forth by me. And I say that I call thee to be knowing what it is to be kept always, for I am the keeper of thy soul. And I say when it is me that you look to in faith and trust and confidence, and you obey my commands unto thee, then I say you will see that it is me, the living God, who is able. I say you are not meant to evaluate your life, in me as to how you feel, but rather what it is that I desire. For I say you are not upon this earth to be governed by your feelings, by your moods, by your carnality, but I say you are upon this earth to be governed by me. That is to proclaim what it is that I desire to obey me in my commands unto thee and fulfill the will of the Father in your lives. For I say it is the Father you are meant to please and not your own selves. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will direct, correct, and guide forth my people in repentance, revolution, as they continue to declare the same. For I say you are not meant to grow weary and well-doing and lock up in self-pity as though you had a right to such an ugly force. But I say you are meant to rebuke, refuse, and refute the unfruitful works of darkness that lurk in your own carnality and march onward in me. That is, ever thankful that you are given the privilege to be redeemed. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to dwell in darkness. I do not call thee to dwell in those things that I have forbidden unto my own. But I say that I call thee to be coming forth in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am, ever made glad for my way. And I say that I call thee to be knowing that through me so are you given the light always and the truth that you can come forth rejoicing in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth, mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. 
and I say when you will continue steadfast in me and I give command unto thee I say do not be considering yourself that is do not make provision for the flesh but I say instead put your energy into obedience unto me for I say that I the living God do desire that men would serve me wholeheartedly that they would be thankful to be pleasing me for I say you are living in a time when many have been led astray from my way and into a ditch where they wallow in the mire of the same. But I say that it is me, the living God, who is giving the call for any and all who will repent to do so, no matter what kind of wallow they are trapped in. And I say if they will repent, it is me, the living God, who gives unto them the rope of hope that they can indeed be pulled free of the mire. Now I say this day, if you walked and saw an animal that was stuck in a mire, I say, would you just simply say, tough for you? Or would you try to help that beast to come out of that mire that it could be free? I say, are not men worth more than beasts who are caught in a mire? I say that they are. And I say, it is me, the living God, who looks upon them and desires to see them set free. Now I say, therefore, this day do not go according to your own understanding, but I say, walk according to the mind of my spirit, and ye shall see that I prevail. That is, you will see that I bring thee forth uplifted, directed, and guided always in the blessedness of truth that I provide. And yes, you will see it is me, the loving God, who is able to give to thee the light upon the path that you can indeed come forth rejoicing always. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, mercy, hope, and peace provided. Now I say, therefore, this day when I, the living God, do give to thee the truth, I say you are meant to come forth in the same. And I say you are meant to be thankful that I am the one who will guide thee in that which I intend for my own. I say this day that I, the living God, do desire my people abandoned unto me and ever desirous of me. For I say, when it is me that you love to please, to serve and obey, and I give thee commands that are contrary to the will of your own carnality, who will you obey? That is, will you choose to bow to the beast, or will you choose to bow to me? I say this day that I, the living God, am searching the earth for the ones who will indeed wholeheartedly cast their lot into repentance, revolution, and burn with the fire of the saint. For I say you are not meant to be holding back on me, but I say you are meant to be pushing forward in me. That is, ever thankful to receive commands so you know what it is you are meant to do. Not floundering and wandering and ending in fire and being stuck in the same, but ever moving forward in the truth, the light, the strength of who I am, and thankful that it is me that you serve. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be bogged down, but I say that I call thee to be uplifted and made strong in me. And I say that I call thee to be thankful that I give to thee the truth, the light, and the strength each and every day. And I say that I call thee to be rejoicing that it is me that you can continue to seek, to please, to follow after, and obey. And I say that I call thee to walk uprightly in that which I give thee, which is the truth, the light, and the strength day by day. Therefore I say, be thankful that it is me that you can continue to look unto. And I say, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought. But I say, instead be consumed with zeal for me, thy maker, thy God. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be wearied and therefore dreary in your outlook, but you can be refreshed and renewed by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is able to replenish, and it is me, the living God, who is able to supply. Now I say, when they lowered the nets, I say their expectation was in absolutely nothing at all. That is, they had labored and toiled all night, bringing forth nothing. And I say, they were weary and weary and weary, ready to go to sleep. Then I say, when I came upon the scene and I commanded them, lower the nets, and they obeyed, I say, what was it that they brought forth? I say, more than they could even pull up. And I say, that it was supplied by me. Now I say, consider likewise that I, the living God, am the one who knows the timing, that I, the living God, am the one who knows the resource, therefore I say, obey me. That is, do not go according to your understanding which is darkened, do not be governed by weariness and dreariness, for I say that I can cause the same to leave thee. But I say, instead, be governed by me, the one true God who is able. And I say, do not be looking for men to be damned, but I say, be looking for men to be saved. 
For I say that is the call of repentance, revolution, that is going forth to all men at this time. And I say, be thankful that I, the living God, do give to thee the light, the truth, the mercy, the hope, and the peace each and every day. And I say, be glad that I am the one who guides thee forth, that you can indeed be renewed in me. That is, renewed in the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. For it is me, the living God, who is able. And it is me, the living God, who brings forth those who believe, yes, they will receive. For I say, you will be receiving of mercy and truth, life and hope and peace time and again. And I say, you will be directed, corrected, and brought forth ever renewed in me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give to thee the truth, I say be thankful for the privilege to receive the same. And I say when I give to thee the light, I say walk in the same, not turning back to darkness or the shadows that remain. But I say be ever thankful to be the children of the light and let the light shine forth. And I say continue in the declaration of repentance, revolution each and every day. And I say, revolt against those things in your own carnality that would want to rebel, that would want to disobey, that would want to have it your way. For I say, you are not meant to be living to have your way, but I say, you are meant to be living for me. Therefore, I say, be thankful for the privilege to rejoice, for the privilege to obey, for the privilege to walk in my way. And I say, be thankful that indeed you are privileged to know what it is that I do, in a wayward, perverse, and vile generation, for I am calling men to repent. That is, I'm calling them to turn from the darkness, the evil, the iniquity of their own way. Now I say this day, be glad that it is me that you can continue to look to, believe in, and trust each and every day. And I say, be thankful for the purpose that I have, that you can indeed be guided always, strengthened, and uplifted in me. And I say, be thankful that when you look unto me and believe, then of course you receive. For I say that I give to thee the newness of life as you walk in obedience unto me. Now I say when a man is in disobedience and he murmurs and complains all the day long and feels sorry for himself, what does he gain from the same? I say that he gains more depression, despair, discontentment, and frustration because that is what he is sowing, so shall he reap. But I say when a man is seeking to please me and walk in obedience unto me, not giving way to his own carnality, nor the complaints of the saint, but striving to obey me, then I say such a man will have my strength upon him. And I say it is because he is coming forth in the newness of life that I provide. Now I say this day, be glad to obey, be glad to walk in my way, be glad to be uplifted in me. That is, in the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. For I say it is a privilege to be called, to be chosen, to be directed and commanded by me. And I say it is a privilege to declare repentance, revolution, to a sin-sick, a dying, a perishing world where all men are found steeped in sin. That is, that they can turn and gain the newness of life that I provide. It's time to repent.
Send a picture to the White House. I mean the Pink House. <laughs> not mine. For whatever yeah. one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God.